Hello and welcome everybody. I wanted to make a quick video kind of overviewing what my thoughts have been with the M Audio M Track 2x2. So on the back you have outputs for some monitors as well as an XLR input and a USB type C interface. On the front you will find an input for an instrument quarter inch and another quarter inch output for headphones. Along there you will also find a switch to turn on the phantom power. So if you have a mic that requires this, please remember to turn this on. Alright, let's get a little bit more hands on and actually connect some stuff. So I'm plugging in my XLR cable from my microphone as well as the USB Type-C connector that is connected to my computer on the other end. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and connect my headphones so that I can directly monitor the audio coming out of my microphone as well as get audio from my computer. Now, remember, if your microphone requires phantom power, please remember to turn this on, otherwise it will not function. Once you've gotten to the point where you have everything connected and you have a microphone plugged in, you're gonna to want to set the gain. Right now I turned it all the way down, but you can slowly start turning it up and you'll see the indicator slowly start to appear as you speak into it. And there I was at minus 20, it looks like. Now I always try to aim for minus six being my loudest. So kind of slowly go up there. I'm not recording, or like the clip that you're hearing isn't being recorded through the mic because I don't want to clip it because I'm going to demonstrate what kind of happens at that point. You saw it go all the way up to minus 3 dB. So that'd probably be good for me. Depending on what you're doing, that uh, may or may not be fine. But I like to give myself enough headroom so that I do not clip. Anyway, if you turn it all the way up, you will, of course, clip. <laughs> and you probably heard some of that sound coming back through some of my headphones. Hopefully that wasn't too distracting. Anyway, uh, okay, and we'll go back to the other mic. So you guys have been hearing me through the Audio-Technica AT2020 through the M-Audio M-Track 2x2. I don't have any soundproofing, so you might hear a bit of echo, but other than that, I think the audio sounds pretty fantastic. Before this one, I had tried out the Focusrite Scarlet Solo the second gen, I believe, and I thought that this would make more sense, so I just returned it. I, I didn't. I guess I now that I think about it, I didn't really have <laughs> a great reason to make the switch, but I haven't really had any issue. I mean, basically all the Scarlet did, I'm doing over here with really no noticeable difference, as far as I can tell. This one, as you've been able to see, has some controls, some more dials that you can set the gain for each individual thing, including the monitoring, which is nice, and you can kind of select between the feedback from the mic or whatever instrument you have connected to it and whatever audio you're hearing through your computer, which is fantastic. I don't use this for musical purposes, really. I've just been using it mainly to have my mic hooked up through whatever application I'm using on my computer. And it's really nice to mix between the two, um, just in case. It, it's just nice being able to hear my voice. It's, it's reassuring and letting me know that everything's sounding fine. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's uh, nitpicky or if other people have that same thought, but it, it's nice being able to hear myself and hear other people. And depending on what sort of mix I want, I can turn that up or down, which is lovely. I haven't been connecting it to any monitors. I, As you can see, I'm sharing my desk currently so I don't really have the space for any monitors pardon the sound outside um, so I haven't really had that ability even though the M audio has a really nice gigantic knob in the middle to adjust that volume uh, which is a bit of a shame that, that I haven't been able to use it or make use of it but hopefully someday once you know I get some more space <laughs> Other than that, it's uh, been pretty good. I haven't really had any issues. Actually, I wanted to interrupt this because as I'm editing this, I actually did recall that I did actually have some issues 
when I first set this up, and it might have been because I already had the driver for that Focusrite Scarlet unit that I mentioned earlier, but uh, make sure you uninstall any older drivers and just install the latest one from M Audio's website. And I think that'll also download, or it might be a separate download, I can't recall, the M Audio M Track 2x2 control panel. All that really does is let you adjust the buffer size and sample rate. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to make sure that that was very clear because I, I'm sure somebody was going to have an issue with that. Also, I wanted to mention that depending on the program, it may pick up the mic as just a single channel of a dual channel or a stereo setup. So you might have to choose an option to down mix to mono. I, I believe that I've had that happen in a few different applications, but it hasn't been super common. I just wanted to, again, make that be known. Okay, back to the video. I thought it was neat that it connects via USB-C. It just seems more modern compared to the, you know, the Scarlet, which I'm pretty sure is still used USB type B, you know, that connector that all of these interfaces and you'll find like printers and stuff. A lot of audio equipment for some reason still uses that connector. So I just thought it was neat that this uses USB type C. I haven't really tried to connect it to anything else. I mean, I'd be kind of curious to see if it worked on a phone <laughs> or something like that. I haven't really had any need to do that though. Uh, the one time that I did try to connect something, you know, musical to it through the uh, instrument input, it was uh, a drum machine and it only records mono audio. So any stereo effects were kind of lost. I, I feel like it was only recording one channel specifically. I forget which one. Like, I don't think it was down mixing to mono. I, I can't really remember. Uh, I've just stopped bothering with it. So I mainly use it again for this. But if you're recording something that you don't really need stereo effects like uh, a guitar or something along those lines, I, I think you'd be uh, pretty happy with the results you're going to get through this. Well, hopefully that wasn't too rambly for you guys, but it has been a pleasure. If you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know and uh, drop a comment. Other than that, it's been a good day, and you'll have a good one too.